Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in my salaries in Indian or domestic airline in India series where I've covered a few airlines and I talked about their salary structure and I've also gone ahead and shared a few salary slips for you to see the approximate, no, no, not approximate but exact amount of salaries that are credited if you are a cabin crew in that particular airline. So if you're someone who's eyeing to become a cabin crew or wants to know the salary structure as a cabin crew in SpiceJet, then this video is for you. Someone who's new, has no idea of never, has never ever worked in any sector and is going to be the first uh, time flying in an airline, you must go ahead and watch this video of mine to get an idea of uh, how the salaries of a cabin crew are divided. It is divided by basic salary, the basic pay structure, plus hourly flying allowance, plus any special or uniform allowance or grooming allowance that's there, which consists of uh, some transport allowances as well and uh, some cash that you get as a labor allowance if i've already not covered that if you're flying international so if you want a detailed explanation of what all and how all is it done you can watch this video of mine that is my own salary slip which i am showing here as a part of a cabin crew in qatar airways whereas in this video we are recovering you can see now that i have the salary structure of a spice jet airline cabin crew profile uh, so now what you can see here is this is uh, cc which is when you start as a fresh cabin crew someone who has uh, more than one year of experience which is cabin crew plus one here it uh, the salary structure is going to be like this here and plus two plus three so within from the time you join to one year two year three year salary keeps on changing that's how it works in india salary keeps on increasing so mostly there's no problem until the first three years things are quite the standard quite the same they don't really change apart from once you have more than three years of experience or when you become SCC or a senior cabin crew or LCCC which is your checker on board who flies as well as checks the cabin crew which is another duty so the salaries change completely now what you see here is the basic pay basic pay is the minimum pay that you get irrespective if you're flying or not but you are there for the duty which is around approximately 500 per day that makes it 15 thousand standard if you have zero to one year of experience right then there is hra allowance which is around 40 to 50 percent of the salary six to five zero you see standard for first three years first year standard there is no scc allowance which is senior cabin crew allowance so once you become a senior cabin crew right here and uh, anyone who is promoting getting promoted further you see 5000 rupees gets credited every month through their salary which is senior cabin crew or plus uh, their account apart from that what you see here is a pf which is a provident fund amount again standard for 1800 i've made sure that i put it side by side so it becomes easier for you to understand on and you don't have to see a lot of salary slips here so yes this is the pf amount which is quite standard 1800 and once you become a senior cabin crew it changes a little more right here you can see so whether you are someone who's joined a uh, fresh or has two to three whatever years of experience you see there is a fixed ctc of 25 hours so you are assured 25 hours every month and you will get a salary of 23,050 for every month. This is a minimum salary that you make every single month. Right now you can do the math, but don't get confused. This is not what you're making until yet. Now you're protected with fixed CTC, which is fixed salary for 25 hours, right? Which is going to be 23,050 here and as per your position it keeps on increasing you can see whatever is as per your profile here now if you fly someone if you're someone who flies over and above 25 hours right fixed hours then until 50 hours you are paid uh, this much money 6875 which is a fixed amount so if you calculate this it becomes around 275 per hour so the math is simple 6825 divided by 25 hours which becomes 275 per hour for 50 hours of flying however if you're someone who's increased 50 hours 
until 70 hours it becomes 8000 so the math is again simple 8000 divided by 2400 per hour this is going to be your flying allowance per hour which is 8000 and if you see here it is definitely going to increase if you need to calculate per hour flying allowance all you need to do is divide this amount by 20 and you will see what is the per hour flying allowance for all these different positions right so for example here you see it's going to be 700 per hour because 14,000 divided by 20 is 700 per hour if uh, L triple C which is your checker is flying over 50 hours in a month they're going to get 700 for every extra hour that they fly now productivity allowance is 20 percent productivity is again as per your leaves if you are not taking any sick leave for that month so every company has their own productivity allowance policy it could be in terms of your sick leaves it could be in terms of your uh, warning letters whatever it is so the basic rule is that if you're someone who's not taken any sick leave for uh, uh, in a month which is so if you're someone whose sick leave is not exceeding one or two days again variable as per the airline you will get this productivity allowance which is 20 percent of your this amount as a part of your salary provided you do not have or you have less than two one or zero sick leaves for that month if you have more than that this will not be a part of your salary so if you're a someone who's flying definitely uh, a cabin crew who has uh, just joined the company what you will be making is 23,050 plus if you have a productivity allowance which is 5985 you will make this amount 23,000 plus 5,985 which becomes an approximate of do the math do the math somewhere around 29,000 or so 29,000 that becomes your salary as a cabin crew just flying for 25 hours if you're someone who's flying obviously more until 50 um, you do the math if you've done 28 hours 30 hours whatever it is you know it is 275 per hour you can do the math and that is going to be your salary your salary if you fly approximately 70 hours which usually the crew does it is going to be around 43,910 which is CTC it is going to have some tax deductions going to have PF deduction approximately it could be around 38 39,000 depending upon uh, tax returns etc factors and similarly it's going to be around 47,000 53,000 59 76 and as much as 88,795 for an L triple C so this is the approximate salary structure that you can see which changes as per your seniority and your position in the company now apart from that you also have a lower allowance which is uh, going to be the standard somewhere around 500 2000 i don't have an exact number about spicejet but if you are someone who is watching me and is a spicejet crew go ahead to the honors put it down in the comment section below right and uh, if you have any other questions suggestions comments i'll be more than happy to hear from you you know the drill put it down in the comment section below i will be reading it and it's definitely going to be very helpful for everyone here that is all for this simple short sweet crisp video if you have any other questions about spicejet salary remuneration or any other suggestions comments information about this airlines and their salary you please put it down in the comment section below but i would really appreciate if your information is genuine and is coming from someone who is being a part of this field thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in my next one till then take care and bye bye